Welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Annie from Annie's Armenian Middle Eastern Aleppian Kitchen. Today I made meat manti. Meat manti is a type of meat burak. It's very famous in Middle East and very delicious and very easy to make. This is little time consuming. Please be patient and follow the steps. For this recipe, I used half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of canola or any vegetable oil, a third cup of basic syrup, which is the same syrup that you use to soak the baklava, and I used about three cups of um, water, and I used the standard measuring cup, and I measured five cups of flour. You might need more or less of water, depends on the uh, flour brand that you are using. Mix all your ingredients together until you have a soft, not sticky and not very hard dough. And then let it rest for about an hour. You can make this even at night ahead. Just bring it back to the room temperature and work with. For the meat stuffing, I used about a pound of 80% um, fat ground beef. I have salt here, all spice, Aleppo 7 spices, Aleppo red crushed pepper, and half a cup of diced onions. Mix it well and bring it back to the fridge. Now for the cheese stuffing, you can use any type of cheese that melts or you can make your own blend. I have here uh, monster cheese, some Swiss cheese. I have Armenian string cheese and feta cheese. So after resting the dough for about an hour, I portioned them in small pieces and then rolled them to size of a small pita bread and then covered it with a damp towel and let it rest for 10 minutes. Now these are the last steps for making the dough. Time now to spread the dough with canola or olive oil. I have here a blend of canola and olive oil and I'm spreading it between each layer of the rolled dough. Again with the help of the oil on the top and the bottom of the dough. I am spreading the dough gently. I took two pieces, but you can start with one piece if you feel comfortable. And you can make your rolls larger if you have a help. As you see, it is now very thin. Arrange your meat and then roll them gently. Just roll and pull. The dough is very easy to work with. So as you see, this is a little bit of time consuming recipe, but it's worth it to try. The results are incredibly delicious and presentable. Making this recipe with two people will be more fun and easier, but you can do it by yourself too. You can prepare the stuffing a day ahead even the dough a day ahead. So I finished all the dough and then cut them in pieces and then roll them and attach the two sides of the dough together and then arrange them on top of greased tray. It will be ready to be baked for 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 45 minutes after brushing it with a little bit of canola oil. So in this picture, I'm trying to show you that you can make it in a different way. Maybe it's easier for you. So just cut them in strips and then squares and add the meat 
and then fold them like an envelope. Then I brushed it with a melted butter and preheat your oven 350 Fahrenheit and then I baked it for about 45 minutes until they are golden brown. On the other side I started making the pepper oil sauce which is about quarter cup of oil with Aleppo red crushed pepper, couple cloves of garlic, saute them in a pan. And then I prepared the garlic yogurt sauce, which is about half a cup of any type of uh, yogurt or of your desire. Added a little bit of salt and then couple crushed garlic. Just add on top of your uh, barrack or monti and serve it. Please subscribe, like and share and thank you for watching.